All new at 10, a controversial bill that would ban transgender procedures for kids in South Carolina is on its way to the House floor in Columbia. Just days into the new session, the Help Not Harm bill has already passed through a House committee. Our own Zach Poletsky joins us now with much more. Zach. Well, Justin and Tory, State Representative John McCravey from Greenwood says this bill is one of the top priorities for the Family Caucus. After hours of testimony, a bill aimed at stopping gender-affirming care for kids in South Carolina is advancing. We've got to protect our children in South Carolina from the lie, and I'm just going to say it bluntly. It is a lie that you can change your sex. State Representative John McCravey is a sponsor of House Bill 4624 that would ban gender transition procedures for kids under 18. It would ban drugs, it would ban therapy, it would ban all these things uh, that, would, that, are, that you can't change. In the first week of the legislative session, the hearing on the bill drawing dozens of people to testify against it, including medical professionals, people who are transgender, and their loved ones. Age 4624 sends the broader message that people like my brother are undeserving of the pure joy that comes from being able to live as one's true self. This joy is not in any way harmful or dangerous to any of you or any other South Carolinians. The bill would also prevent public money being used for a procedure and require public school teachers and staff to tell parents if their child identifies as another gender. These rights should be free from politicians dictating provisions and limitations based on their own misunderstandings, perceptions, and morality. On Wednesday, the 3M committee voted to advance the bill to the full House. We believe strongly that the deterioration of the family is a big problem. Now, no word on when the bill will be debated in the full House. Nearly two dozen other states already have similar laws in place. For now reporting, Zach Prolutsky, Fox Carolina News.